right, here we go. Does that look good? Um, well, we would sit together at lunch all the time. Yeah. You were, and you like asked me, you were like, hey man, like, do you wanna, we're looking to add another team. Do you wanna join? Cause it was like exclusive, right? Yeah. No one, no one would, no one knew about it. It was really hard to get in. Yeah, so 2013 was a very weird year for MLW. Uh, we came off a year where we had four teams, the Nighthawks, Cardinals, Wildcats, Eagles, and as many of the MLW fans know, the Nighthawks left, so that left us kind of a weird spot. Like, did we want to run with three teams or did we want to add more teams? And I started hanging out with Tommy a lot in like sixth grade, and I knew about it then. You know, I was going up north with him and stuff, we were playing wiffle ball. And then the next year, seventh grade, and I want to say it was in like seventh grade, we were sitting around like at a computer lab at school and he had already seen the videos a little bit so we were watching a couple together and uh, he's like I want in a little bit so then he came up, we would hang out every once in a while and he was at my house one day and we texted Kyle and like yo can we come over and play some wiffle ball. And we played a game and I think it was like me and Warder versus Kyle and his brother Daniel. At I was so bad at first and I remember I came over here one time you threw me, I was, we were just playing around doing a little scrimmage and I ripped one and that uh, instantly fell in love with it. And I remember the moment that I was trying to help him because he was like, swinging lefty still but he really was struggling with the swing. So I was like, Warren, just simply take your hands to the ball. That's all I can tell you. Take the knob of the bat, your hands to the ball. And the very next at bat, he hit a bomb up into the tree and he just got so excited and it was awesome to see how excited he was. It was just, we were just kids having fun, you know. And then after that day, he was just all he was talking about in school the next week was how he hit a home run off of you. And I think he did hit a home run off me, and he was all hype and stuff. So I could see the dedication and passion towards wiffle ball that he had. Um, so I think that was like the first instance where I was like, okay, this kid, he would he would work really well in the league, and he'd be good in the videos and all all that kind of stuff. People wanted to get, and you were always just, no, no, sorry, you can't. But you asked me to be in it, so I was like, yeah, like super stoked about it. Uh, they go 1-15 and, and it's probably the worst team that we've ever seen in our league's history. Long gone. Popped up. Makes the cut! No hitter! No hitter for Noah Dabrico. Noah Dabrico threw a no hitter against us, that was tough. Quite honestly, I don't even remember their full roster. It was not good. Line drive to right field, Rachel scores. They sucked their first year. They weren't very good. No, the problem was no baseball background. Got him on strike. So the biggest thing is Austin. I had big hopes for Austin. He just never showed up. Never, not, not once. Cardinal Nation, baby, let's go! <laughs> Got him, Tracy! The Predators win a game! They win a game! They win a game! Unbelievable! Funny story about their one win. Uh, they were playing the Eagles in the 16th game of the year. And the Eagles, uh, they had already clinched their spot or whatever. So I told all the Eagles, I'm like, Please just like go easy on these kids. Like let them get a win, and I think that's actually what happened. Like the Eagles will tell you that too. They didn't really try, so that's kind of a funny story. I never told anybody. Yeah, that it was basically just I didn't. I was just playing for fun at that point. It was so it was so much fun. Even though we would lose, it was you know I just had so much fun just being out there with everyone. The whole atmosphere was so fun. The pitch to the. And it's caught! That could be a top 10 play! 2-2 two, two pitch. Got him, strike three. 2-2. Two and two. Swing and a miss! And the Wildcats are going to the World Series. At this point, it started to get more serious, more competitive. I just didn't, 
yeah, I was just sick of losing. Couldn't hang with you or Dan or Tommy or anyone um, at that point. I just knew that my arm wasn't good enough. I'm wearing a sweatshirt, it's kind of hot in here. Warda finally asked me to play, and then it was me, Alec, and uh, Jay Crespi for the first game that I came out in. It kind of got me to, you know, learn how serious the um, league actually is and how people, like good people are at wiffle ball. Right. Um, so I definitely wanted to just keep coming back, and thankfully Warda kept yeah. having me. And. Uh, it, it came to a point, I think after 2016 season, I was almost ready to call it just because we, you know, constantly losing and I hated losing. That ball is gone to left field. A three run homer. Got him, strike three. I mean, every year we would get to the same point and we would just, we would just lose every time. And it was just getting really frustrating. Russell, strike three, four nothing game. Pitch from Daniel Schultz. Got him, strike three. The Eagles are World Series bound. Yeah. And that's a bomb. Got him, outside corner. Two and two pitch. Got him. Strike three. Cobra's moving on. So yeah, there were times where I thought of just ending it, but thank God I didn't. You see, throughout these five years, the Pacific Predators had no real sense of identity. You had Alec Warda filtering in and out guys, and the right mix was just never there for him. Now, of course, they had their fair share of bright moments and spirit lifters, but after years and years of the same end result, it really began to take its toll on this young team. And let's face it, they were caught up in a league where a talent passed them up, and they were just playing for fun in the first place. And in the very early stages, that was no big deal, but as the league began to grow and as games began meaning more and more to them, it really began to affect them. It seemed inevitable at this time. They weren't made to be a contender in MLW. That is until 2018. We are, we're good. All right. with the Eagles and I was just thinking I'm an ace behind a better ace at the moment so you know I just need to find somewhere where I can be that starting pitcher that you know that go-to guy so you know I thought about the Preds and I thought you know they've got all the hitting and they don't have the pitching so I said I might as well try it. Driven to left and that's gone a walk-off home run for Ryan Kretsch. You know just the extra um, the extra distance from the mound to home plate was really throwing off everything. Uh, I wasn't producing anything because of the longer distance, so it was really hard for me to time everything up. You know, I texted Agner and I said, um, you know, what do you guys think about it and all? And he was, he was kind of pumped about it. He wasn't too excited. Warda was more excited than Agner was. And yeah, we were 0-6 and uh, it, Jack Agner told me that, hey, Cratch, Cratch wants to come to the Preds. So immediately I texted Cratch, uh, and I still have the messages. And I was like, hey, you want, you want to be a Pred, blah, blah, blah. He was like, yeah, I do. I want to join. I feel like you guys, I feel like you guys can really use a good arm. Daniel, when I texted Daniel, he, uh, he said he knew this was coming for a while. And, and I said, I didn't know it was coming, but, you know, it's, it's time. And he said, he, you know, he understood. 
I knew I had to let him go. I couldn't really do much. I had, you know, I knew he wanted to be more than what he was with the Eagles, so I kind of just accepted it. And then after that, I forget what our record was after that, but we exploded. Ball drive, this one's gone. Got him! Strike three. Ball drive, this one's gone to center field. Get out of here! <laughs> the Preds are on today, folks. I came in and I told Warda from the start, I said, I don't want to be your ace until I earn the spot as your ace. You know, you know, Warda's a captain of his own team and I'm not just going to come in and take over. So what I said was, was what I meant and you know I came in and I just happened to become the ace over time. Let's go, killer baby. Get it, go! <laughs> Let's go! Shot. Oh! The Preds are hitting on all cylinders now. Swing and a miss and the Preds win three to two and take the series. Yeah, I know at first it stung but I think after time went on, I found just as good a great group of guys with the Eagles, and Ryan found his spot with the Preds, so it, it was okay at the end. It was it was weird, I'll tell you that much. I you know I finally was like, wow, this is how Daniel felt every series. This is weird, you know. I come in and I'm I'm from game one, first inning, I'm pitching. You know, with Daniel, it was if we had a two game win that series, you know, then I'd go in. But here I'm starting game one, two, and three, so it was crazy but I loved it. Nerves, you know, pure nerves. I was, I came into that thinking, you know, I have to win, I have to win, I have to win. Two balls, one strike. Grounder! It was just utter panic. As soon as that ball hit the ground, I ran at it. I saw Warda coming in at the corner of my eye. I'm thinking, do I flip it to him? Is he going to take the ball? What do I do here? And then, um, you know, I stumbled with the ball. I even collided with Kraus a little bit. So I went to get it. Cratch jetted to get it too. And we ended up kind of confusing each other when we in intersected on the ball at first base. And then I saw him go off the bag. And for some reason, I like tried to, you know, peg him with it, but the ball ended up just falling out of my hand and rolling away, and by that time, Durand is around third and heading for home, and he's, you know, he's not stopping, so. Walks it around, walks it around. Grounder! Home, Makes oh, oh, it. Oh, Safe at first, go, and it's tied, yeah, and the Cobras yeah, win! Yeah. They advance to the ALCS. Let's go! On an hey, unbelievable the shadow, Baby, Daniel shows a shadow! That was uh, it was a heartbreaker for sure. It's just that I've, again the same feeling, the same outcome every single year. We just like choke in the playoffs, do well, play our hearts out, but we just can't get it done. No matter how good we were ended up playing, like something would just end up going wrong for us, and you know, next thing you know, our season's over. I texted them right after. I said, "Guys, I'm so sorry. I, I couldn't have felt worse." But they were the first people to back me up. You know, Bruss texted me and said, "You know, you're the best thing that's happened to this organization since we started." And Warda was like, "Dude, it's a team loss. It's okay. You know, this type of stuff happens. We just couldn't back you up." Going into the 2019 season, there were some significant changes revolved around the Pacific Predators organization. First, with recent league prosperity, came an expansion of three new teams, one of which would now be led by former Predator Jack Agner. I, I was not bitter about it at all. You know, he wanted to, I know how fun it is to be able to lead my own team, and he is also a very energetic, upbeat, you know, catalyst that can create some create a team like the Preds um so I mean I was like yeah like I don't care uh you can go ahead and do that 
you know, obviously no hard feelings. You know, Jack's one of my best friends for since like third grade. Additionally, with the three previous World Series champions consisting of three-man lineups, Alec Warda made sure to take note of this, and thus cut Trevor Hopman as a result. The new lineup would now consist of Alec Warda, Ryan Cratch, and Brennan Russell. You know, we have a good squad. We shaved off a lot, a lot of dead weight. Just more, more, more reps, more at bats. I didn't like playing with five people. Uh, the more reps you get, the more you can kind of see see how the pitcher's pitching that day, see how the ball's moving. I felt more confident having a smaller squad. Um, it was definitely more comfortable, and it, it, this year, like I know we always said it, you know, it felt different, but it really did. Oh, I was super confident. That was that was pure grind that off season. I was, you know, I was working. I was I was bringing wiffle balls with me to baseball practice so that I could get indoor work. I was practicing whenever it was above 32 degrees outside. As much as I could get in, I was getting it in because I needed to bring them a championship. Oh, a bomb to center! That'll be a mercy for the inning. Six nothing Preds. Every year it seems like the Pacific Predators, you get all this hype. It has been a crazy year. Swing and a bomb! That ball's way gone. Alec Warda though, another year of experience working with Brennan Russell on this team. 3-0! and The Predators have come out the gate strong. The question for them is, is this one of the best teams we've ever seen in MLW? You know, and I was really excited to be out there. We were all really excited. Look at Too many of our surprises, yeah, I think they are one of the best teams we've seen in a long time. It's hilarious that anybody who thinks the Preds have any serious chance at being <laughs> better than mediocre. <laughs> you know, Noah's, uh... Noah's a funny character. Ryan Kratz is really, you know, coming to his own here in this game. His pitching, you know, he's perfected his craft. Predators absolutely dominating. Screwball, yeah. Nick the strike zone! Who knows, maybe they could have a nice run. It's all coming together for them. I mean, we've talked about it, and it's actually a true thing now. Swing and a drive! That one's gone! That one's gone again. Ryan Kratz is a beast. Who at Homer? Personally, I love his variety of pitches in his arsenal. The biggest thing was I was having fun with Warden Press, you know? See what I could do to get that next win, go for one games one, two, and three. I was thinking of one pitch at a time. So with those three guys, this roster's been pretty deadly throughout the year. Predators have yet to be beat in a series. Oh, Alec Warda! It's a bomb! I told you guys he was due! Warda just comes in and just kills their dreams right away. I mean, it felt it felt great. It always felt great. 2019, it has all come together for Cratch as a pitch. Cratch pitch lights out consistently. Game after game. It felt, it felt good. Catch us in the ship. Let's see how it goes. And everything just clicked. Alec Warda, it's gone! Honestly, just playing playing the way that the Preds have always played, you know, just energetic, uh, get hype when you can. Alec Warda, ah! Oh, let's let's go! Go! The Predators have really evolved as a squad. Preds fans, where you at? The Preds are 8 and 2. Is this the year? Pops up! Alec Warda makes the catch, and the Pacific Predators have swept the Western Wildcats. Let's go Preds! Let's go Preds! Let's go Preds! Oh, swing and drive! Alec Warda over! Oh my goodness! In the biggest game of the year! Slider got him! Strike three! Pretty dynamic trio, I would say. So we're just going to have to see what these Preds, what they can do. Seven of their wins have been by shutout. The quote-unquote better luck next year team, season after season, is now looking to clinch the number one spot in MLW. The pitch from Drew. And he walked him! The Pacific Predators have won the American League division. For the first time ever in franchise history, the Preds have won something. The real question is, if they can keep that momentum that they've had from opening day up until now, rolling into their playoff matchups. We welcome you here into the Meadows for the ALCS. We have the Pacific Predators facing off against the Coastal Cobras. I was uh, confident, honestly. Um, at this point, I, I'm i playing really well. Um, Cratch is playing incredible. Honestly, I came into that game with so much more confidence than I thought, you know, I had. I credit Daniel with a lot of, you know, like experience and playoffs and stuff, so, but I came into this thing and like, I just gotta get ahead one pitch at a time. I've been here before and I can do it again. 
uh, just as long as I can get under Drew's riser and read his riser and um, Cratch is staying consistent, which he did, um, you know, I was fully confident we were going to take it. Off home run is so crucial right off the bat like oh they hit a home run and they're getting hyped now just like that you're ahead now you're feeling it their other team's down and this is like where you just gotta you know start punching and get ahead so we are drawn. that one's gone alex warner baby let's go warner press fans this has to be beautiful for you to see riser got him strike three nine Zero. Warda with three homers on the day. Another one from the kid. One and two pitch. Got him! Strike three! The Predators are going to the World Series! They advance after sweeping the Cobras. Two nothing here in the ALCS. Ryan Kratz doesn't give up a run in the whole series. Unreal. Alec Warda was clutch today. Three home runs for the kid. Unbelievable. And Harlan Smith did a great job of filling in for Brendan Russell. The Cobra season is over, but the Preds advanced to their first ever World Series. Unreal. Literally a dream, a dream come true. This like wiffle ball has been such a big part of my life since, you know, since I started in 2013. And you know, I off season, I'm always watching games, I'm always watching stuff, always watching wiffle ball stuff. So it was just so cool to have that, to finally be able to, just to get to the World Series, you know, like even if we don't win it, we still got there. And like that is still an accomplishment of itself. Oh, it was unreal, you know. I, I like I said, the three easy wins was, you know, starting to become, we're, we're getting three easy wins. I got a text from them saying like, yeah, dude, we just swept them like five nothing, nine nothing. And I was like, wow. World Series found feels pretty cool. Not being able to be there to beat Drew Davis that badly would have, was a little upsetting, but um, you know I was just trying to do everything I possibly could to be able to make it back for the World Series. I was very intimidated by Daniel, of course. Dan's, you know, Cy Young, incredible player. Oh, what a pitch from Dan Schultz! Uh, and Waylon, extremely underrated, gets hits, gets hits when he needs hits. In the right center, he's safe. The flip down. No. Daniel's coming home and scores. Oh man, the Eagles win game one. I normally don't do that well against Daniel, so I was kind of hoping that um, Mallards would have won it. I think about it all the time. I'm facing my the guy, I'm facing my master here, like the guy who brought me into the league, the guy who taught me all I know. If there's anybody that I want to face right now, it's him. I, I don't know if I really bought into the, to the Preds hype yet, because you know, it's been six, it's been seven years they've been in the league, they haven't really done much. You know, as 2019 progressed, I could tell that Ryan was pretty legit, so we definitely had to prepare for it. It was pure excitement, really not many nerves, which is what I, I was kind of uh, I was kind of surprised by that. It was 75% excitement, 25% nerves cuz you know, I was I was getting really excited the thought about, you know, winning the championship, winning this whole thing, but I'm also thinking about like what if we don't? What if Daniel does it again cuz he is Daniel Schultz and this is what he does. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the 2019 World Series game one. Here we go. Nice pitch from Ryan. Got him, strike three. Good pitch from Daniel. No runs come across. A whole new level. It's it's just, well, it's for all the marbles, you know. It's it's just a whole different dynamic. Riser, he went. Swing and a miss. Coming down to it, every pitch worked. And, you know, that's big. I come into the series and, you know, I'll pitch before the game and I'll say, well, this, this pitch isn't working. I came in, every pitch I threw in one was working, which was huge.
Ground ball back to Daniel. It gets through! Warner's gonna stay, bases loaded. Keeps the inning alive. This is when I gotta trust my speed, and it's two out, so I'm, I'm, I'm like getting ready to go as fast as I can. So I, I, as soon as he makes contact, or contact, I'm off. I came up to that plate thinking, if he throws me a riser, I'm hitting it. Any other pitch I couldn't hit. I promise you, the only pitch I was looking for was a riser at that moment. Okay. One and two. That one is in the left! He's in! The Preds win in walk-off fashion! Oh my god! He beat it out, he beat it out. We're gonna go to a review. I'm, I, I make it in, you know, I'm celebrating, and then we go to review because we weren't sure if Waylon had the ball at third when, when, when Russell went, got to two. I, I, I was kind of a little nervous a little bit because I thought, I thought, I didn't even like think about that. All right, so after further review, Brennan Russell, the runner, running the second. He's safe, the Preds win game one. Uh, it turned out it was a clean, a, a clean hit and a clean, uh, clean score. I mean, winning game one right off the bat, like usually we don't beat the Eagles, we usually get swept by the Eagles, so it was really cool. Oh. Oh. Yeah! oh, sweet a drive! Alec Warda homer! Oh my god! Alec Warda hits a lead off bomb! It's the same type of thing, I don't know, wow, like what, what is going on here? Warda was already running around second, and I was like, what just happened? So he did that, you know, now we're rolling from the get-go. It looked like these Eagles were falling behind, but you know, you never know what they can do. Swinging a bomb, right field, it's gone! Oh my God! Steel Smith, out of all people, ties it up! He reaches his bat out and he hits it, and he hit it, and in my head, I literally just said to myself, no way. Like, like, that couldn't have happened. Like, that's not possible. Every day, every time I see him in school, every day he reminds me. He said, do you remember the time I hit a home run off you in the World Series? Fair ball! Into the corner, Kraft rounding second, he's going to third! He hits it down the line, and I look out of the corner of my eye, I see it goes past Neil. Um, and that gives Cratch time to turn on the Jets absolute afterburners and just rounds the bases and makes it home, which was insane. Oh my god, it's electric! It's electric! It's, it's huge. Uh, and just gave us more, more momentum, uh, gave Cratch some, uh, you know, comfort, some cushion. Full count on Daniel Schultz. Swing a miss! With the bases loaded! The Pacific Predators are up in the World Series 2-0. No! Unreal. No! A bunch of kids will go into wiffle ball games saying, 3-2 count, out of the last inning, World Series, you know, this type of stuff. So it was the 3-2 count and that just got in my head as I threw the pitch. It was felt so good. Just to be to be up 2-0 in the series is just incredible. They need one more win to win their first World Series ever in seven years. I was nervous. Uh, when I was driving home, I'm pretty sure I called my dad. And I was, because I was just like, like we're up, we're up 2-0 in the series, you know, blah, blah, blah. But I was scared that the Eagles were going to come out just hit, firing on all cylinders to like an incredible amount because that's the type of team they are. I thought it'd be really cool to get a sweep in the World Series, so that was kind of my mindset. You know, like, you know, like how cool would it be if we could just walk in and clean it up? We can't, we can't just go into this thinking we have this win. You know, we had been texting the whole night of Predators group chat saying like, this isn't over. We gotta, you know, we gotta shut them out right now. Woke up the next morning, went straight to the field, and you know, just from right there, I was open-minded, having fun. Game three coming up. Preds lead the series 2-0 and looking to finish it here. Got him, strike three on a drop ball. Got him, strike three looking. Out of peace, in play. Crash makes the play. Got him at first, what a snack from Warda. Swing and a miss on slider. Swing and a miss. What a pitch. Brian Crash, baby. In the center field, right center. Oh, Russell with a catch! A one-hand snag at the wall! Yes! Unbelievable! Yes! 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 Yes!
with an insane catch in right center. It just it just landed perfectly in my hand. I I, didn't, I have no other way to explain it besides it just fit perfectly right in the glove. I mean, I'm just trying to breathe, like keep my keep composure because I'm kind of like shaky. I did my tap, and then um, when I right right when I cocked back, he threw it, and then it was again instinct. Here's Alec Ward with two outs, guy on first, he's seven. Seven years! It took seven long years of torment. You've longed to hear Preds Nation, but this was the year 2019, the year of the Predator and Alec Warda walk a home run. Oh my god. When I hit it, I, I couldn't believe it, and I freaked out, and I hear you yelling, and, and Cratch goes, no way! No way! No way! Oh my gosh, I honestly, the only thing I could really remember was tackling Ward after he hit the home run, and we're World Series champions just like that. I mean, if anyone's going to hit a home run, it's going to be Ward, and that's just how it's going to be. Stepped right into it and smacked it, and I was just like, all right, well, there it is. Just the, besides not even winning, just uh, you know, the great friendships and everything, and and not not even just with the Preds, just with the with the league in general. Honestly, this meant so much more to me than the Eagles win did because you know, this is not a Ryan Cratch and Daniel Schultz team and Clayton Price and all these crazy Brennan Schultz, you know, all these stacked kids. This is just a team of kids who formed together who like are really just like average kids who just built up to get better and better and finally won the World Series. The, the, the fan base is incredible, you know, they're so, they're so uh, loyal no matter, e even through the thick and thin. But Preds, Preds Nation, Preds fans are always right there like hyping up. I had a few guys get in my DMs and, you know, say some really inspirational stuff flying to New York and Boston and I see these kids all over and they're like I've been with you since you know since you you joined the team that's crazy you know people are telling me they've been with Warda since 2013 like it's crazy to hear that type of stuff I'm just, it's just like it's such a blessing to be able to pull my pull the team that I started 2013 pull them back up to the top even even though it took seven years you know perseverance is uh perseverance is awesome <laughs>